in the question number 21 let me draw the diagram first a prism is given in which a ray strikes at the face a b and the and again it is strike at the face ac then it emerge from the face ac now in the question the range of theta is asked for the transmission of ray from the face ac first of all we assume that the angle of emergence is 90 and then we calculate the angle of incidence for angle of emergence 90 degree as we know that if angle of emergence is 90 degree that means angle of incidence must be equal to critical angle that is theta c and this is angle of refraction at first phase according to the, uh, to the trigonometry a equals to r1 plus r2 and r2 is theta c theta c is critical angle which is equal to sin inverse 1 by mu now we apply snell's law at the face ab so we get sin i equals to mu sin r1 or mu sin from the above equation r1 is a minus theta c therefore the value of i is sin inverse mu sin a minus sin inverse 1 by mu since we have to find range of theta for which transmission take place at face ac therefore we have to increase the angle to decrease the angle of emergence it means angle of incidence must be greater than i therefore the correct answer is 3 in the question number 22 type of equilibrium is asked for two different loop kept in magnetic field as we know that for uh, potential energy of a loop kept in a magnetic field is given by minus mu dot b where mu is magnetic moment and b is magnetic field for stable equilibrium mu vector must be parallel to vector b and for unstable equilibrium mu vector must be opposite to the direction of vector b in the four option given a b c d in option a vector mu is perpendicular to the vector b in option b it is parallel to the vector b therefore it is the case of stable equilibrium in option c again mu is perpendicular to the b and in option d mu is opposite to the vector b therefore equilibrium for stable equilibrium option b is correct and for unstable equilibrium option d is correct therefore the most appropriate answer is 